Take that giant space knife. Yes, you. It's time to visit the sun and check what's inside. First, you're slicing through the corona, aka the sun's wild hair. It's the sun's super thin atmosphere, but don't let it trick you. It's blazing at 3.5 million degrees Fahrenheit. While cutting through it, you see plasma threads whipping around like solar spaghetti. You reach the photosphere, the sun's skin. It's only about 300 miles thick, but it's super bright and sizzling at 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Looks like it's covered in little fiery waffles. They're called granules, and they're each about 600 miles wide. Then comes the convective zone, where hot plasma is floating up in bubbly chunks. Next, the radiative zone. This part's like molasses made of light. It takes 170,000 years for energy to crawl through here. Finally, you start cutting into the core and instant heat wave. It's like the sun's pressure cooker. Gravity's smashing hydrogen atoms together to make helium, and it's cooking at 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. Now, you're gonna need a smaller knife, since the next candidate, Mercury, is the smallest of the inner planets, only about 3,000 miles wide. When you cut through its thin atmosphere, you see little hydrogen and helium atoms escaping inside tiny invisible balloons popping away into space. Next, the crust. Together with mantle, it's only about 250 miles thick. As our giant knife passes through, you see hard rock flakes falling off, cracking under the pressure. Mercury has a gooey outer metal core. Slice carefully or you'll spill some liquid metal lava. Finally, you hit the inner core. Mercury has a massive metal heart. Around 85% of the whole planet is just iron and metal. It's basically a giant metal meatball. Cut through it and watch molten iron juice oozing out like spicy hot sauce. You're now approaching Venus, the hottest planet out there. We're talking about average temps of 870 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to melt lead. You slice through the atmosphere and it's crazy. Thick clouds of sulfuric acid swirling everywhere, and it's mostly carbon dioxide. Like a bad greenhouse on steroids. Pressure there is insane like being 3,000 feet underwater on Earth. Thick yellowish clouds are puffing around the blade, sizzling like acid rain. Then comes the crust. A thin shell of mostly basalt, just 6 to 18 miles thick. It's like cutting through a crispy rock pizza crust. Thin, but tough. Cut deeper and you're in the molten rock mantle, about 1,800 miles thick. You can see the rocky magma wiggle and ooze. Finally, you hit the metal core, about 1,900 miles wide. That's like slicing a chunk almost the distance from Chicago to LA. There's a giant iron ball inside, all molten and heavy. All right, time to cut through Earth. Now you might need a whole chainsaw to deal with this rocky planet. First, your chainsaw bites into the crust. It's thin, only about 1% of Earth's volume. You hear a sharp crack as the brittle rocks snap and crumble. Dust and tiny minerals puff out, and the crust breaks into chunks, like snapping a hard cookie. Next, the blade presses deeper into the mantle. Thick, tough rock that's solid but kind of squishy if you wait long enough. As you slice, the hot rock kind of oozes and bubbles, leaving a warm trail along the blade. Keep going, and you hit the outer core. A huge sea of molten metal. Suddenly, the knife slides through thick, glowing liquid iron and nickel, like cutting through a giant cosmic lava lamp. Finally, you smash into the inner core. Solid metal this time, like a glowing steel marble buried deep inside. The blade scrapes across its dense iron-nickel surface with a harsh grind. It's blindingly bright and insanely hot here, hotter than the surface of the sun, and the pressure would squash any real blade flat. Put the chainsaw aside. For the next planet, you'll need something of a more modest size. You're zooming over to Mars, the last of the rocky inner planets. The knife breaks through Mars's crust. It's thin and solid, made of volcanic basalt rock. As the blade cuts in, fine reddish dust, like cosmic talcum powder, puffs up, drifting everywhere. 
The crust doesn't crack into big plates like Earth's. It's one big solid shell. Next up, the mantle. Think of it like thick, soft, rocky toothpaste. Not totally solid, but not mushy either. The knife slides through it with some resistance, and you see glowing silicate goo in red and orange shades swirling around the blade. The mantle is thinner than Earth's, only about 800 to 1100 miles thick, so you don't have to wait long to get to the juicy middle. Finally, you hit the core, a metal mix of iron, nickel, and sulfur. Mars's core is molten, but it's cooler and more chill than Earth's. In any case, it's easy to cut through. No effort needed. We're coming close to Jupiter, the biggest dude in the solar system. Jupiter is a gas giant, basically a giant balloon filled with crazy stuff. As you cut it, you don't hit solid ground at first. Instead, it's all thick, swirling gas, mostly hydrogen, around 90%, and helium. It must feel like slicing into super thick whipped cream that never ends. As you go deeper, the gas gets so squished that it turns into a thick liquid. The blade pushes through layers of swirling storms and colorful clouds that whirl around. Keep going and the gas becomes metallic hydrogen. The knife slices through a glowing electrified liquid that crackles around the blade, like you're cutting through electric jelly. Finally, somewhere way deep inside, you reach the core which might be a molten hot ball of liquid or a giant rock heavier than 14 Earths. Nobody's totally sure. But if you could slice through it, the core would be hotter than 43,000 degrees Fahrenheit. A regular blade would melt instantly or be crushed from all that pressure. It would be pretty tricky to cut open the next planet, not because it's too hard or rocky, but because there's basically nothing to cut through. In Saturn's outer layer, your knife hits thick, swirling gases, mostly hydrogen and helium, but with some funky extras like methane, ammonia, and water vapor. As you cut, a smoggy orange haze puffs out. That's all the sulfur giving Saturn its groovy look. The atmosphere and surface blend together. No hard ground here. As the blade digs deeper, the gas gets squeezed tighter and tighter. Hydrogen starts turning into thick liquid and your knife leaves trails through this gooey, glowing layer. Keep going down, and suddenly, the liquid gas turns into metallic hydrogen, shiny and electric, crackling around your blade like a sci-fi lightsaber. Deep inside, you might hit a rocky core, but no guarantees. It might even be liquid rock, glowing and swirling beneath all that gas. Next, we're gonna split open an ice giant, Uranus. Its atmosphere has enough methane to give the planet that cool blue-green glow. As your blade moves, a faint icy mist sprays off. It's like slicing through a cold, foggy cloud. Next, you slice into the ice mantle, which makes up about 80% of the planet. But don't think frozen popsicles. This is a thick, hot, gooey soup of water, ammonia, and methane ice. The blade pushes through this dense, slushy ocean with little bubbles and steam escaping as you go. Then, bam! Blade hits the rocky core, small and dense, half as heavy as Earth. It's cooler than most cores, about 9,000 degrees Fahrenheit, which is still crazy hot. The blade scrapes over solid rock with sparks flying off like cutting metal in a cold workshop. Neptune's also crazy cold, but cutting it feels different. When cut, it whips clouds of frozen methane flying past at 1,200 miles per hour. It feels like slicing through a freezing, super windy blizzard. Next, you plunge into the mantle, a thick, boiling hot soup of liquid water, methane, and ammonia. The knife pushes through this dense stew with bubbles popping and steam hissing. Temperatures here range from 3,000 to 8,500 degrees Fahrenheit. Even deeper, the blade hits Neptune's solid core, mostly iron, metals, and silicates. The blade scrapes along this tough metal center, sparks flying like you're welding the heart of the planet. Now, comment below, which planet was the most satisfying to cut through? That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.